Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Diamond Danny Green, who I think is going to be very solid. Like, I think this card is an awesome value diamond. Also, he's super affordable. I bought this card for 49,000 MT, uh, which I thought was a great price. And I do believe he's probably going to be, I would guess, around that 50K MT price point. I feel like a really good price for a guy who's an elite level two way um, shooting guard in my team. Really, really nice card. I'm excited to do gameplay with him and uh yeah he is well actually he's a little more expensive now i sniped one i guess for 49k so he's a little more expensive than that but he's still 65,000 mt right now as i record this video and likely may go down a bit more that's a really good value for a great shooting guard card before we hop into the video if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button help me push towards the 40,000 subscriber mark on the channel i'm uploading every single day tons of consistent daily my team content would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe and without further ado danny green is six foot six shooting guard 95 offense 99 defense and 80 driving layup 87 mid-range 96 three ball 88 free throw 80 driving dunk 86 ball handle, 90 steel, 94 perimeter, 80 interior, 85 speed, 80 speed ball, 95 agility, 85 vert, 80 strength, 95 stamina, badge wise, half dead eye, limitless, slippery off ball, challenger, off ball, pest glove, set shot specialist, non ball menace, gold posterizer, bailout, break starter, post lockdown, pick judger, interceptor, pogo stick, a movable enforcer, shifty shooter, and paint patroller, among others. Uh, badges that you should probably add to this card. I mean, there aren't a ton of important badges he needs, but I would add like lightning launch, strong handle, also probably brick wall handles for days. And I guess dimer would be the fifth one. It would be in my, in my opinion, maybe you go rise up instead. Um, but I think really once you just add a couple of badges to him, he's about as complete as any shooting guard um, in my team, especially among these budget cards like Doug Christie last week and then Danny Green this week. There's some really good cards they've dropped. And uh, he also has Kemba Escape, which is one of the best escapes in the game. So that's a nice little shot creation move that you can use, which combined with an elite release and elite shooting stats and badges means he is just going to be absolutely knocked down. Now, is he going to be in a great shot creator overall? No, not really. Um, I don't think he's like an elite level creator, but his dribble style is not bad. Does he have? Wait, hold on. He does. He's got. OK, yeah, no, this card's tough because he's got D book dribble style and an elite escape. That is. Oh, my gosh. He's actually got some real shot creation. You put handles for days in this card. He's a dog. Uh, yeah, this card's ridiculous. Him and Doug Christie. You don't even need shooting guards anymore. You just run those two guys. You're chilling for like 110 KMT. You buy both those guys. And your shooting guard position is set. I'm not going to lie. These cards are crazy. This dude is tough. Elite dribble style with a great escape and elite defense and a great release and a good fit. Hold up. Oh, my gosh. Is that that fade is a little weird looking. I'm not going to lie. The upper is kind of strange, but it's not bad. It's fast. It seems pretty smooth. I'm not sure it's good with the stick, but um, it might not. I don't know. It might not be bad with the stick. Going left, I greened that one. Um, going right, I was late on the push time, but I did green the tempo. I got to learn. Got to learn the tempo on this because it's a different fade, but it's not a bad fade at all. I wouldn't say I. This card's tough, y'all. He is really, really good. Good fade. Great sigs. Elite release. Elite defender. And I mean, he can finish at the rim as well. He's got an 80 driving dunk, which isn't insane, but it's not bad. This card's really good. Really, really good. If you need a shooting guard, Danny Green, exceptional option. Excited to do this video. Let's hop into it. Let's see what Danny Green can do. All right. Wow. Our opponent's got a good salary cap team. Chris Paul, Tabo Cephalosha, Sharif, Moses, and Aiton. I wanted a decent test. We get one. Didn't really feel like playing a whole showdown game for this Danny Green gameplay, but I think this card... I mean, we got a decent test here for sure. This dude's got a decent squad now. Record isn't amazing, but should be a decent little test for Danny Green. And I'm excited to see what the card can do, man. I really am. Um, because he's so solid defensively. In fact, they're going to throw him on ball here and uh, give him the opportunity to. That's good defense. Let's go. Throw it up to Dan. Please throw it. What? It took them so oh, it took them so long to throw the pass because he, whoever stole that, I guess it was Posey. Got stuck in the defender's body, which by the time I threw the pass, I had tried to throw it again. And then I passed again on accident instead of taking the wide open dunk with Danny Green. Well, that's not how I want to start the game. My mistake. All right. Well, I guess that's on me. Uh, pick, pick and pop here with Danny. The thing is, he doesn't have handles for days right now. So he's a little limited shot creation wise just because he's going to be tired. But that's a great release. And he knocks down the three ball. Good shot by Danny Green. He's got three points already. And. Again, elite on-ball defender as well, can guard on the interior. Like, he's got everything you want out of a shooting guard, I guess, besides, like, exceptionally elite slashing. But am I really that concerned about that with Danny Green? No, not really. Good defense by AD. We get the board, and we're going to run the floor. Swing it over to Danny again. Catch and shoot. You better step on him. You better step up. I green a lightly there. His jumper is really good, man. Y'all better, better step up on him. Otherwise, he's going to make you pay. Good defense there on CP. Get through the screen. Recover here. That's fine. He can switch back. We're fine. Oh, um, I don't 
don't hate that defense. You know what? The result wasn't perfect, but I don't hate the defense. We are going to put the ball in his hands, let him be a shot creator a little bit. Uh, not too much, admittedly. Remember, he does not have that handles for days badge, so he's a little limited in terms of shot creation. But y'all see the value of the Kemba escape? I missed it. I shot it with the button. I just instinctively shot it with the button. That's bad. That's on me. That is 100% on me. My mistake. Um, but he misses the three with Sharif, and we get the board. All right. Well, I would have probably agree on that if I had shot that with stick, but it is what it is. Pump fake here. Uh, again, we're going to come towards the screen and Kimba escape away. That escape is elite, y'all. It's elite. I miss a lightly. That's not a bad shot at all, though. I don't mind that whatsoever, despite the result not being green. Um, step up in the corner. He's probably just going to try to mash this would be my guess. And he is exactly no steal. That's fine. Good D. Good D, Mario. Yes, sir. Step up on Aiden. Now go under. Watch this. Beautiful. Very nice. Um, X switch this to get a better taller defender yep beautiful stuff absolutely perfectly walls up sharif and gets the paint stop unfortunately unable to get the board and i wall i took a step away i thought he was going to pass it back out as he went up it's a cut that's just tough not a ton you can really do about that that was really good defense i feel like danny green was very much in the right position there to make the play um but let's go this way now we drive the ball back out top to ad we create a mismatch somebody's going to be open he tries to switch it he didn't switch it back actually um come off of this stop pop danny He's playing Danny Green really aggressively. I don't blame him. I had the slip wide open to Sharif there, but I thought I could get that off. I could not. My mistake. Uh, go corner here. Four seconds left. And I... Oh, just throw the slip. It's bumped. That's tough. Couple of annoying possessions in a row, to be honest. But I guess it is what it is. What are you going to do? You're not mashing Danny Green, bro. Like, it's not going to happen. This card is a big might mash him, but I promise you a wing is not mashing Danny Green at all. It's not happening. Good defense here. Stay in front. I mean... He's playing D so far. I got to say, he is playing a lot of defense. Beautiful stuff. And let's run the floor again. Push the ball up the court. Get out in transition. Hit the corner. Do not leave him. The result's going to be green. Yes, sir. We will take that. Danny Green shoots nothing but greens. And he knocks another one down. And he's harassing Dan Brandon Pajemski in the backcourt. Oh, my goodness, Danny. Yes, sir. Stop. Drag back. I'll take the assist. Fine. I'll just take my assist. But Danny Green is carrying right now, though. He's playing amazing. To start off this game this is an awesome awesome start block block yes sir chase down from ad we are hoping right now and danny green's a huge part of it playing really really well i love to see this start to the game good defense here tyson can't shoot that's fine we're in the paint beautiful we're good yes sir i will live with that mid-range yes sir we will live every day of the week throw the ball up the court again throw it over to danny pump fake come here behind the back push cross ah he's a little too high up on me for me to get that push cross off uh, you can see the stamina is already going down a little bit. I think him not having handled this today hurts a bit. But another downhill drive finishes in a dunk. And Danny Green, man, dude, you put handles for days on him. He's a real shot creator at the two. Like, actually, with an elite escape and a really good drive behind the back, he's got legit shot creation ability. And it's so valuable because most shooting guards don't have that. Great first half for Danny Green. This card looks incredible. All right, hopping into this game. Let's see what we can do. Downhill drive with Chalmers out to Danny. Danny, we can try to use the screen. Oh, I did not want to do that. My bad. Oh, whatever, bro. Whatever. That's fine. It is what it is. Um, give me a... I mean, even there, I'm like hoping Danny Green, because he's got high interior, can, can affect that shot, but he's unable to there. Just not great here. The one thing that is struggling right now is the lack of handles for days, but dude, I don't care that I missed that. This is legitimately one of the best shooting guards in the game. Not just budget. Very similar to Doug Christie last week, except he's got even more shot creation than Christie has. This card is crazy. I think he's better than Doug Christie because he's got more good hoffs, um, and he's as good defensively probably, if not even maybe a little bit better, and he's got significantly more shot creation for sure. This card is absolutely elite, and if you need a shooting guard, this is the card you should get. I mean, Doug Christie too, but Danny Green will be on a ton of competitive lineups. I'm just telling you all that right now. I don't care about the price. He's just going to be on all these lineups because he's really, really good. I'm kind of forcing shots with him a little bit, and I will say the lack of handles for days is leading him getting a little more tired than I probably would like, but this card is playing awesome, man. Reje he's going to reject the screen. That's fine. We're there, and we're going to play the pop as well. Good defense. Good D. Yep. Beautiful. We will live. Very nice. Uh, and you're not driving Danny Green. Like He's, he's just going to get a stop here. Watch. Get through the screen. Beautiful. Yep. Look at this Danny Green card, bro. He is so nice. Oh, my God. He just made a slightly late tight. A tight white, bro. Like, oh my gosh, 2K. What is your game? That should never happen. 
that pisses me off i'm not gonna lie um whatever my escape crossover oh he's tired he's tired man the lack of handles for days is, is gassing him out at this point i guess it is what it is downhill drive try to spin nobody's open okay well he's a little too tired at this point to do much with the ball in his hands but that's the only thing that's going wrong and once you get that handles for days badge on him that will help 11 points one assist one steal four and nine three of eight from three the efficiency isn't incredible but if you don't see how elite this card is you're fooling yourself he is absolutely incredible in my team i hope y'all did enjoy this gameplay if you did make sure you hit that like button leave a comment and subscribe i'll be back with more 2k content very very soon i appreciate y'all base